Welcome to another Seek Out the Adventure video where you will be inspired to live an exciting and unusual life. This is episode seven of the Unsend It Project. If you don't know what I'm talking about and you're tuning in for the first time, I highly encourage you to check out the other episodes of this series to find out what kind of harebrained experiment I'm doing with my climbing this season. This morning, I woke up at 4.30. I met Tony at the crag at 5.30 just so that I could get on Mandela. This is a route that I climbed back in 2013, six years ago. I jumped on this route for the first time with a headlamp on and I hung on it twice. Waited till the light came out and then uh, jumped on it for the second time and I red pointed it. If I wanna show any signs of progression, I need to get it on my first try. This route almost feels foreign to me because I just did it really quickly. One day, only two tries, and now I need to try and just retro flash it. Tony was a chum, hung the draws for me. I got to watch his movements and his beta. So now we're gonna see if I can get this on the first try. If not, I've gotta get it on the second try.
Well, there you have it. I unsent it. I actually hung on it twice. After falling on the crux, I ended up taking on the head wall because my forearms were just way too pumped. So, lowered down and I was really debating whether I should get on the route again during that session. I, I was having a pride moment where I didn't want to get on unless I knew for sure that I could send it because I wanted to at least get the second go send if I blew the, the retro flash. So I knew that I only had a few uh, minutes more before I had to head and get to work. I didn't know with how pumped I was. I didn't know if I was going to be able to recover in that amount of time. And then eventually I, I realized this is just my pride. Like it doesn't matter how many times it takes to send it. It just matters that I, that I can repeat it. And I hopped back on it and luckily I sailed to the top. Um, things felt a lot better. It's just there's something to say about being familiar with the beta on a route because it just allows you to more efficiently move and you're not wasting time. So I'm psyched. Uh, Mandela is done, resent after unsending it. Um, I've got only a few more left in the American Fort Canyon. I've got Field of Screams, Pig Pen, Isotoner Moner, and then I'll move on to some other ones before I come back and do Teardrop. And then I'm debating whether or not I, I need a repeat Merciless Onslaught because I did that this year. Uh, I need to move on to locations like the Uintas for the route sessions. I need to go to Logan Canyon for Bolt Ladder. I need to go to St. George for Jumanji. I also need to swing over to the Big Cottonwood Canyon, get Burning Embers, which is a trad line. The time is getting shorter now in terms of light. I'm gonna have to transition onto more Saturdays. Here's to moving on. So I hope you are getting inspired with this project. Stay tuned in the next episode to find out which one I am unsending next.